Hi there, I hope you're well. You may think this is a pretty unsalubrious setting to talk about wildlife, but, um, you know, we've all got bits like this around our houses, and it doesn't mean to say that you exclude the wildlife from the garden in a space like this, especially bees. We all know how important it is to have pollinating insects in the world mm -hmm. and around the garden. You're not going to get any raspberries on your bushes if you haven't got bees or any other flowering plant that requires cross-pollination. Mm -hmm. And solitary bees do a fantastic job. They are wonderful little creatures. There's lots of different species and they're benign. They're very non-aggressive and you can encourage them into the garden. And um, back ooh, just a few weeks ago, I put down one of our solitary bee houses, the interactive one, just here, <laughs> facing south. As you can see, it's parked underneath the oil tank, just literally sitting on the ground. And I'm delighted to say, I'll show you a close-up, but I'm delighted to say you can see that one has been plugged, just there, and so is this. And the reason I want to show you this is this is the interactive bee house. This is not the most comfortable position. It's good for your abs. Um, and by interactive, it means one of the rows of chambers can be in inspected by simply lifting the lid like this. And in there, you can see that one of those rows has been occupied. You can see the larvae of the solitary bee parked in its chamber with its little meal of pollen and uh, plugged and then the next larva and so on and so on. The bees laid its eggs in there, the larvas hatched and then they chew their way through the pollen and next year come out as bees. Um, simple as that really. Oh, let me get out of that position. Simple as that really. It's, um, it's wonderful. You see them around, you maybe you barely notice. You should see them around, these little guys, flitting from flower to flower, doing a marvellous job of um, ensuring the health of the planet as a whole. So do your very best to encourage them. You can make your own solitary bee house by just drilling a piece of wood. Make the holes about eight millimetres to a centimetre across. It's good to have a variety of diameters. And then make sure you pop it somewhere where it catches the sun. I always try to make sure that mine are positioned south facing. Or you can go on my website, simonkingwildlife.com, and you'll find a variety of different solitary bee habitats there, including this interactive bee house that I've been showing you in this film where you can check the chambers out in the top layer. See you soon.